God's all over this Bible, but they never give you an exact address. You guys, look. I saw this article in the paper today. First headline read aloud, often incorrect. No, no, not that one. The one below it. Oh. Carrie Underwood credits her success to personal relationship with God. You think she knows where we can find him? I'm sure she does. She's smart. She won her job in a contest. Guys, we are going to Nashville. Wow, the Country Music Awards. And you know it's huge, because it's on a Tuesday night. Hey, look, there's Taylor Swift. And there's Taylor Not-So-Swift. I broke up with a birthday cake. Ugh, we went on, like, two dates. Hey, you're Carrie Underwood, right? I sure am. You want an autograph? Yeah, can you get me Randy Travis's? Uh, I don't think so. Hey, in that song, Jesus Take the Wheel, was that, like, the real Jesus, or was it just some Mexican guy? No, it was the real Jesus. Wow, so you know him? We're actually looking for his father. Do you know where we can find God? Well, God is everywhere. He's in our hearts, and we take him with us wherever we go. Yeah, we're looking for, like, an address. Look, you guys, I don't know who you are, but I have to go perform. Peter, I don't think she knows where God is. Let's go. Hey, you know I don't like you talking to other guys. I'm sorry, Jesus. Whatever. Give me 40 bucks. I want to get a Toby Keith hat. You sure you don't want to stay for the show? Nah, this place gives me the creeps. Like when I went to that pedophile opera. We are proud to present Mozart's The Magic Flute in A minor. And you still won't give us an Emmy? Come on! If Modern Family did that joke, you'd be carrying them around on your shoulders. Well, God wasn't in Nashville either. Maybe it's time to throw in the towel. All right, look, maybe I'm not like other football fans, but I don't have a fulfilling career and a rich family life. Football is all I got. Peter's right. We all live and die with the Patriots. Yeah, we gotta do this, even if it means traveling to the ends of the earth. That's the spirit, guys. We'll find him. Can't be any harder than finding that cheese. I think the cheese is that way. I'm pretty sure it's over here. Guys, guys, finding the cheese is what they want us to do. Let's just chill. I don't know where they're getting all this weed. In Greece, it was commonly held that one could speak to the gods from the top of Mount Olympus. We should probably go there. What do you mean, gods? There's more than one? Yes, Peter, Greece is polytheistic. Quick, Peter, say something so he thinks you know what he's talking about. Words. Yeah, you get it. Apparently, the Greeks have a bunch of different gods. Athena is the goddess of wisdom. Poseidon is the god of the sea. And I am Kronos, the god of time. Oh, cool. What do you do? I tell the time and make gift baskets. So, are you also the god of gift baskets? I don't know. You tell me. Rosewood mango candle? Kronos? I know, I know. It's 4.30, by the way. All right, what better place to find God than the birthplace of all of Western civilization's great religions and one really mean one? I had a feeling this is what this place would be like. Oh, God, Why it's so hot out. Out. parking downtown. Who gets married on a get off these bad feet. Ailments. Oh, look, Joe's feeding them pennies. Oh, oh, somebody take a picture. I can't believe we didn't find God in Jerusalem. Well, we'll have to keep looking. Oh, here's our bus to the airport. <laughs> oh, wow, that was super loud. <laughs> ah, India, the most spiritual country in the world. God is not here. <laughs> 